So time next then for the Investec Handicap. Now uh, this is a two mile race. It's a it's a naught to ninety two mile handicap for three year olds, and there are only two runners, and one of them's mine. So it's a little bit embarrassing, really. It's Mona the Groner for me, and it's um, Golden Holy for Terence de Baal. They're off, and. Well, talk amongst yourselves really is probably the best I can say here at the moment. And Golden Holy on the outside is possibly just the leader from Mona the Groner in second on the inside as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit to go. And I am guessing that there are some trainers watching this race who entered their horse in the Chester Cup over two miles and two furlongs and got a bad draw who oh, are wishing they'd gone for this one instead because I can't speak for Terence but I can tell you that Mona the Grona is probably the well, the worst horse in my stable but she's not particularly brilliant and um, she was the 50th horse to enter the stable out of 50 uh, simply because I haven't got a three year old middle distance Philly and I thought well she might go for the ledger or possibly the oaks and here we are in a two mile handicap and I'll be happy with second so Golden Holy's in the lead and um, Mona the grown up is in second I'm assuming this is not going to be a featured race in the live feed uh, if it is that's a good time to go and get a drink and um, unless you're Terrence or me and Golden Holy is in the lead. There's one thing we're gonna, uh, Terence and myself are gonna share the best part of 20,000 quid between us, so we can't moan too much about that. And Golden Holy is in the lead with Mona the Grown Up. Four or five minutes back in second. And just a little over seven furlongs still to injure I'm in race. And it's Golden Holy in front. From Mona the Groner second in this first and hopefully only match race of the season. I remember Mike got stuck with one on the all weather last season and um, did a much better job than I'm doing of um, commentating on it. It's um, not the easiest job in the world. This one is only two runners and uh, there's not a lot of. Um, a lot to look at. Oh, there is the rear. I can't even talk about the scenery or the um, or the buildings because it's just an empty field. <laughs> Golden Holy in front then from Mona the Grown Up, poised in second, ready to pounce, and uh, this could develop into a sprint. Um, both horses appear to be going equally as well as each other at the moment, and um, Mona the Grown has been shook up by the. Uh, or the jockey and Golden Holy hold in the position on the inside as Mona the Grown and there comes up on the outside with two furlongs to go and Mona the Grown has surprisingly got into a lead of about a length and now Golden Holy comes under a little bit of pressure as they go into the final furlong and looking like the most unlikely Winner in the stable for me this season as Mona the Groner makes her way towards the line and the jockey on the second appears to be easing up as well so there you go Mona the Groner has won the match race with Golden Holy in second apologies Terence but you picked up second place prize money uh, Mona the Groner the winner for me and Golden Holy second for Terence the Bar.